Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have an interesting topic, caries waxing. So we've been learning uh, and um, listening about vaccine from our very younger classes. From school time we've been listening from uh, our teachers and from faculty members about vaccine and the diseases which can be prevented by vaccine uh, and we know many diseases which are completely eradicated from earth like uh, smallpox uh, polio and now we are into uh, a rush of creating a vaccine for corona disease so vaccine it's not a newer term but caries vaccine it is not very popular because there is no uh, proper caries vaccine which can prevent uh, dental caries uh, unlike other diseases which can be prevented by vaccine caries cannot be uh, prevented by a vaccine because of a crucial thing that is caries is caused by a multifactorial causation so let's learn about caries vaccine uh, and its concept why it is not very popular and why it cannot be used as a uh, method to prevent dental caries or a sole method to prevent dental caries so we know uh, Dental caries is a microbial infectious disease of teeth which results in local dissolution and destruction of calcified tissue. It is one of the most common disease in human. And it is also a major public health problem. And vaccine, it is an immunological substance which is designed to produce a specific protection against a given disease that is this gives protection against dental caries so we need to learn about immunity so immunity we know the various types of immunity uh, innate immunity acquired immunity so i have explained in my previous video in detail about the types of immunity so hope you uh, remember the concept of immunity you don't need to uh, learn everything about immunity to understand caries vaccine just the concept of immunity how immunity works uh, how the uh, innate immunity works and how the acquired immunity works and passive active so all those immunity types okay so immunity is nothing but uh, a resistance exhibited by the host against any foreign antigen including microorganisms okay now we have caries vaccine so why we need vaccination because dental caries as i said it is a major public health problem which has a severe impact on oral health related quality of life because one, when we get uh, this caries it might affect our personal life it might uh, create a loss of working hours uh, we might uh, need to skip our school day or work uh, working uh, hours so it is a public health problem definitely so vaccination is uh, very much required since it is a public health problem because almost public health concerns so almost 70 to 80 percent of the population will be having at least one dental caries of in his mouth before moving to vaccine we need to understand the concept of multifactorial causation so we know polio is caused by a virus right and uh, we know smallpox is caused by uh, again uh, microorganisms so if we uh, find a vaccine or if we create a vaccine which can destroy uh, that particular virus or particular microorganisms we can prevent that disease so we know that caries is caused by streptococcus mutants lactobacillus or actinomyces so here itself we have many bacteria so we need to find out vaccines for each bacteria or each strain of the bacteria because initiation of caries by mutants, progression by lactobacillus, then by actinomyces. So there are n number of bacteria which is involved in dental caries. So we need to find a vaccine against this bacteria or a particular strain. And if we can kill the bacteria, or if we can prevent the bacteria, its localization in any way, 
if you are removing the bacteria we can prevent dental caries if you are thinking about the same concept of polio and smallpox but the dental caries is not just caused by bacteria it is a multifactorial disease not just bacteria there is involvement of host factors that is tooth its position uh, the flow of saliva the malocclusion status its personal oral hygiene status and the food he consumes the cariogenic food the sticky food the frequency of food and the time the more time the food substance which is retained in the mouth also cause dental caries so when all these factors that is bacteria tooth food time all together works to create dental caries because all people will have bacteria everyone will have this particular strain of bacteria mutants lactobacillus actinomyces because it is a normal uh, oral flora it will increase when there is caries but n not just bacteria can create caries because not every person who is having bacteria can dental caries is not there okay but people with dental caries will be having this bacteria just like tuberculosis every uh, person or uh, who is infected with uh, the tuberculum bacteria is not getting tuberculosis there are many factors which involve like poor uh, immunological uh, response or the nourishment status and its uh, hygiene so everything involves in creation of or the resulting the output of that disease so like i said it is a multifactorial disease so not just bacteria prevention or its killing of bacteria by vaccine will not prevent the formation of caries because of its multifactorial concept okay and we know how this uh, caries happens when there is a uh, dental plague formation so over the plague this bacteria will get deposited and this plague will act on the substrate which the person consume uh, like sucrose or any other cariogenic food and will create lactic acid which will demineralize the teeth and finally caries happens this is a process okay how the caries happens so we have uh, antigenic determinants of streptococcus mutans so now we are focusing on streptococcus mutans so we have antigenic uh, anyway streptococcus mutans is a gram positive facultative anaerobes and uh, it's antigenic determinants okay so hope you know antigen is something which comes from outside and antibody is the immune uh, complex which is created within the body when response to antigen so antigenic determinants are adhesin which is a wall associated protein which uh, form the two principal human pathogens of streptococcus mutants and next one is glucosyl transferase which is uh, streptococcus mutans has three forms of glucosyl transferase and uh, the third one is glucan binding protein or gbp okay so the mutants against has three distinct proteins and the dextranase so it is an important constituent of early dental plague okay so these antigenic determinants so our vaccine is aimed at these antigenic determinants like adhesin glucosyl transferase gbp and dextranase in the plague so how do we apply this vaccine or how do we use or administer this vaccine that is root of administration we have the common mucosal immune pathway that is the first one it has various route like rectal oral intranasal tonsillar and minor salivary gland roots then we have systemic root then we have active gingival salivary root okay these are the roots of administration so the common mucosal immune pathway uh, where the mucosal application of dental caries vaccine are generally preferred for the induction of secretory iga antibodies so mostly it is through the iga antibodies okay so it is acting against these antigens and creation is iga antibodies so the oral route so the first one is oral route which is relied on the oral induction of immunity in the galt 
G-A-L-T. Okay. It's nothing but the gut associated lymphoid tissue. So antigen was applied by oral feeding, gastric intubation or in vaccine containing capsules or liposomes. Next is the intranasal route. So intranasal installation of antigen uh, which has been used to induce immunity to bacterial antigens including those associated with streptococcus mutants colonization and accumulation. Whereas a tonsillar route uh, where the tonsillar tissues containing contain the required elements of immune induction of IgA and IgG. So palatine tonsils especially nasopharyngeal tonsils have been suggested to uh, this mucosal effector site such as the salivary glands. So in uh, minor salivary gland um, they have been suggested as the potential routes for mucosal induction given the short broad secretory ducts that facilitate retrograde access of bacteria and their products and give the lymphatic tissue aggregates. Whereas a rectal root, so we have a rectal root, this is a region as an inductive location for immune responses in humans. As uh, this site has the highest concentration of lymphoid follicles in the lower intestinal tract. And the second root is systemic root. Uh, this is uh, successfully uh, elicited uh, because uh, it has IgG, IgM and IgA antibodies can be elicited through this systemic root. And the last one is active gingival salivary root. So in order to limit the potential side effects and to localize the immune response, the gingival Crevicular fluid has been used as a route of administration. Okay. So these are active immunization. Active immunization means we are injecting the or we are giving the antigens. Okay. So these are the antigens which can be used to create uh, the, uh, the antibodies. Okay. So that is active immunity. So the immunity active immunity is um, induction of uh, antigens whereas the passive immunity passive immunity is uh, like creation of antibodies from outside and uh, giving antibodies to the person that is like monoclonal antibodies uh, or bovine milk so all these are passive immunization where we are transferring just the antibodies so active uh, immunities body itself creates antibodies when there is a presence of antigen so we are inoculating antigens which are part of the streptococcus mutants so that the body creates immunity so mm, what are the advantages uh, of this vaccine is it prevents the disease in children it can be incorporated to universal immunization program which is cost effective in long run and it provides lifelong immunity mm. but the main problem is it is a multifactorial its effectiveness is very questionable and there is risk of hypersensitivity and there could be cross reactivity of certain antigenic components of streptococcus mutants with heart tissue and there is microbial resistance so that is all about uh, Kerry's vaccine. So Kerry's vaccine is nothing but uh, creation of antigens uh, which are the antigenic components of bacteria and induction via various routes and creating antibodies against the uh, Kerry's vaccine. But it's practically uh, not very effective because still this time uh, there is no uh, much uh, well accepted caries vaccine available because of the multifactorial causation. So I'll come up with a new topic in dentistry and more. Thank you.